Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 14, Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event, Group Battle Zero. So, I guess we're just going to have to see how this plays out. Let's get it up on screen, and let's give it a watch. Here we go. Hot spring? Oh. I think it might be too hot to... Oh, it's him. Is he smoking a brain? I think it's being like, no, when he is too. Oh. たまたま手に入ったおもちゃから始まった遊びだったけど。なかなかうまくいかないね。はっきり縛り作らせるべきじゃなかった。こいつ殺されたくなかった。少なに体上げちゃって。縛りはあくまで自分が自分に課すもの
Hmm? Ultimate Mechamaru, what? <laughs> Hamo Noru. No. No way. Come on. <laughs> He's in the box. Seriously? Are you going to follow the Jim Cornette logic? Anything that comes out of a box is immediately over? Is that the... Oh, God. What? The, Jim Cornette, the former wrestling promoter, he had this stupid ideology that anything that's in a box, when it comes out on screen, is immediately over. Over means, like, the people go crazy. Oh. Like, people love it. When I say over, it means, like, people are just like, oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah, see, I don't know that term. So I'll just Sorry, it's wrestling anything, terminology. Anything that comes out of a box is immediately finished is, like, what I heard that as. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> over. When I say over in the wrestling terminology, it means, like, it's cheered. People like it. People it's are, like, like, it's hype. Hyped, yes. Yeah, or well accepted by the crowd. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna kill him. <laughs> well done. Well done. He looks more like he's about to kill Gojo. <laughs> Good to see. Oh, she's she's about to crack. Uh. <laughs> Damn it. But she was about to cry, I could see it. I think it's like a combination of being angry and sad to the... Well, yeah. It's like angry but happy. Angry like but time, happy. But it's mostly angry. Yeah. <laughs> huh? So it's not really a tournament so much as it is a hunt. Yeah. So that's the thing, it's like tournament arcs are cool and all, but like anime could come up with other cool events to do in place of that. I think this is a collaboration is... event. Like they yeah. they have to sort of compete but also work together. Well, I said it's you're weird. free to sabotage the other team, but keep in mind that you're on the same fight against the curses. So basically it's like you can sabotage them being able to get the kill, but like if you end up fucking yourself over by doing so, that's kinda on you, is what it sounds like to me. Basically. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Knew it was coming. Mm. 
トゲロはそういう次元じゃねえからそんなことよりユージお父さんは返せよ出してあげる壊しか You asshole! <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> Gojo, you asshole! Oh! <laughs> I like how his head just floats off. He's like, oh, I'm out of here. He's <laughs> like, that's on him, not me. Oh, God. I didn't tell him to break it. Gojo, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, he passed the buck. <laughs> yeah, threw him back under the bus instead. <laughs> he could feel it. Yeah, he's that naturally freakish. Fuck you, old man. Really? That's it. <laughs> they both have similar personalities, it's just she's more laid back. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Uh oh. It'd be useful to just have a permanent, pretty much, shield around you whenever you're a huge smart ass to everybody. Of course. He's just, guarantee he's just like, he sits there joking. <laughs> I can be as big smart. of a smart ass as I want to be because nobody can do anything about it's like, it. Yeah, it's like you have a permanent light shield around you. You're just like, oh, by the way. Your ass is fat. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> 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 
Uh oh, it's her. Is he gonna show up here? Oh, sush. I want it. I want to go. Hands off. Don't, <laughs> don't touch the TV. <laughs> if I find you drooling again over the top of the TV, I'm going to kick your ass. If you lick it, I'm going to push your head through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. Knew he'd be watching. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, that would OPP. Yeah, you know me. Gosh. Other people's problems. It, it stands for a lot of things, according to Naughty by Nature. It would seem that uh, the principal of Kyoto really wants uh, Itadori dead. I mean, sheesh. That's pretty harsh. Fuck that old man. I hope he dies of a heart attack, and a, and a painful one at that. I think he's just kind of scared of Sukuna. Of course he's scared of Sukuna. But that doesn't, he, doesn't mean he needs to be a bitch about it. Cornelius Fudge, you remember the head of the uh, Ministry of Magic? He did everything he could to like be in denial. He like you know ran newspaper articles saying how Harry Potter is just secretly trying to throw you know help Dumbledore overthrow the Ministry of Magic so that he can instill himself as Supreme Wizard and shit like that. And it's just like what? Like <clears throat> shit that makes absolutely no sense. It's like the J. Jonah Jameson of. Uh... The Harry Potter world, basically. Basically. And Cornelius Fudge was just driven by the fear of Voldemort coming back that he was just like, he's not back. He's not back. Mm -mm. It's impossible. No, no. And then eventually at the end of uh, the one film, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was The Order of the Phoenix, he eventually is just like, he's back. Like, he finally admits it. He finally sees it, and then he resigns. It's like, there you go. That's the same thing here. This old man is paralyzed by fear, and he's wanting to, quote-unquote, nip it in the bud before it even has a chance to sprout. Like, he even knows what the hell's going to happen whenever the whenever Itadori ingests more of Sakuna's fingers. I think they all kind of assume. It's like if he ends up eating all of them, then Sakuna will overtake him and be free up on the world again, basically. You'd think that, but at the same time, the stronger Itadori gets the more he is able to resist uh, the curse energy. The more he's able to resist Sukuna's, uh, like, mental advances. Yeah, it's just a lot of people don't really have that much faith in him so far. And you know what? Okay. The old man included, because he's not really seen his development, I guess. True. True. Look at it from a perspective of, like, basically, all right, so this person essentially has a nuclear explosion building inside of them. Killing them will stop the nuclear explosion from going off. But if they run four miles and do 200 push-ups, uh, you know, every day, like, then the nuclear explosion may not happen. And it's like, which option would you think would be the more logical option to trust them to keep running the four miles and doing the 200 push-ups every single day or to just kill them? It's easy to see how someone would pick, just kill them, like, you know. It's Fair. Can't be trusted, just kill them. Fair, but still, I don't know. Just you wishing to sacrifice someone who, in all honesty, has not wronged you at all. And it doesn't eliminate the threat of Sukuna. It just puts your, per your mind at ease. It's like, oh, well, that's X amount of Sukuna's yeah, If anything, it would only buy time. It wouldn't actually completely eliminate the threat exactly that's my point of it is that it doesn't it won't benefit in the long run i guess that's gonna do it ladies and gentlemen this was jujitsu kaisen episode 14 the kyoto sister school exchange event group battle zero hopefully you all enjoyed and hopefully we will see you all in the next one so until then i'm nate i am nick we'll see you everybody peace out